Hey guys, I'm here with my pet alligator gar Brazos today and he was getting a little too big for his tank. So I got him a 300 gallon tub. This thing is huge, it's about eight feet long. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna move this tank out of the way, drain the water into this tank and then fill this tank all the way up, hook up the filter and the heater and then put Brazos in. All right, I'm gonna let that drain for a while. I'm trying to make this one light enough to where I can move it out of the way and then move this big blue one in place. All right, I think I drained enough water out of this tank. Now I'm gonna move this tank out of the way and put this big blue tank in place. Well, I've got the big tank sitting in place. Now I just need to fill it up more and add some sand. Brazos and Charlie are still in this tank. The water level is low, but Gar can live for weeks in just puddles of water. Now I'm going to go get the hose to fill it the rest of the way up. Be sure to use conditioner if you're using tap water. Alright, it is about halfway full. I'm going to stop there because I still have to add sand at the bottom. Now it's time to add sand. So what a lot of people don't know is that in this sand right here is beneficial bacteria and you need that to have a healthy tank. I'm going to take a lot of this sand out and put it in the new tank and that will allow that bacteria to already be at the bottom of the new tank. I'm just going to scoop netfuls into the new tank. I got a lot of the sand in there. I know it's not enough to cover the whole bottom so I got a new bag of aquarium sand and that bacteria will mix in with that new stuff. If I were to just put new sand in here I would have to wait a couple weeks for the bacteria cycle to start. I got a new bag of white aquarium sand here. I just rinsed it all off so it's clean. I'm about to add it to the new tank. I just mixed the white sand in. It's still a little murky so I'm gonna let it settle out for a few hours. I'm about to turn the filter on. This filter was running on the old tank so it's already got good bacteria built up. I got the filter running. Now I'm gonna set up the heater on this tank. I'm gonna wait a few hours before I put Brazos in to let everything cycle and settle. The water temp is also a little cold too. I've got a plant to go in the new tank. Brazos is just chilling right there. I got an aerator for him I'm gonna turn on until I put him in the new tank. It's been several hours now and it is time to move Brazos to his new tank. First I'm going to move Charlie. Here's Charlie right here. Look how big Charlie is getting. There you go. The water's still a little bit murky, but it will clear up overnight. I've been slowly adding water from this tank to the tank Brazos is in to get them adjusted to the water change. Got this net here, you just want to make sure it's wet so it doesn't rub any of their slime off. Here we go. Got him in. Got Brazos in the new tank. There he goes. Well, I think he likes it so far. He just came up for air. He's got a lot more room to swim in here. Well, Charlie and Brazos seem to be liking their new tank. I'm gonna come back tomorrow to check on him and feed him. Okay guys, it's been a day since I put Brazos in his new tank. The water cleared up great and I think he likes it a lot. I got a bunch of shad thawing out. He has a lot of room to swim in here. Come on. He's swimming fast in here. Charlie wants a shad. <laughs> he just fell over backwards. 
Look at Charlie, he's like sticking his pinchers out of the water. He's gonna go eat it in his cave. He just barely grabbed onto it. I got half a shad here for the baby gar. These guys are getting big. I think this one's about 10 inches now. You can swim a long ways in this tank. He's gotta be like 18 or 19 inches. My goal is to get him to two feet long before I put him in the pond. Here's some chunks for the little gar. Come on, Brazos. He's scary to feed. It's weird he's not eating it yet. <laughs> he's either really gentle or he snaps at it violently. Look at Charlie tearing apart that shad. That was actually a new gar that just ate out of my hand that hadn't before. This is usually the big gar that comes and eats out of my hand. These little gar are getting more used to me. Here you go. Oh, I missed it. He keeps backing away. <laughs> Stay tuned for a video next week because I'm going to be adding a new addition to this tank. You got it. I'm going to throw these two chunks on the bottom and watch Brazos search for them. One right there, one over there. He sees that one. This is how they eat in the wild a lot. They scavenge stuff on the bottom of rivers. I think he's getting pretty full. He's just holding it on the side of his mouth. Going for it. Oh, I missed it. He's going for air. Well, Brazos ate about eight or ten shad, so he is full. I'm gonna feed the rest of the scraps to the little gar. Ooh, they fought over it. All right, I got the last couple chunks here. Thank you guys for watching. Brazos likes his tank and he'll have a good home for the next two or three months. I will see y'all next time.